can't do that. I was gonna do that. Miles was gonna make it happen. Somebody was gonna have to be there, okay? Cause I was not doing it by myself. Hey YouTube, <clears throat> it's your girl Maj, and I'm back. I'm giving y'all quarantine realness. The bond is still on. I got a big t-shirt on, you know, and I'm 38 weeks pregnant. So I was gonna get too dolled up for y'all. But I'm back for another video. So, I asked on my Instagram if y'all care to really know um, how I truly feel about giving birth. Because I'm a first time mom, I'm giving birth during a crisis. I don't want to get flagged, so I don't want to really say the word, but y'all know what crisis I'm talking about. And then on top of that, I'm going to give you guys what's in my baby's diaper bag and what's in my hospital bag. So, without uh, wearing a door that talking, it's really early in the morning. I don't even think, I, don't, I think I think it's 9 o'clock right now, like on the dot. So, it's early, your girl's up, I done had breakfast. So, let's get started. So, before I show y'all what's in my bag, how do I truly feel? Um, I've been asked this question, actually. One, I'm not afraid because... There's nothing to be afraid of as far as giving birth. Not really, like birth is a beautiful thing. So keep a positive mindset, but I'm not afraid. Um, I'm not nervous yet because my water didn't break or, you know, like I'm, I'm just pregnant still. Like I don't have the, oh shoot, he coming. You know what I mean? Like that raw feeling like, oh my God, the time is really now. Um, but I, I just can't wait, y'all. I feel like whenever the day, whatever day the Lord tells me, decides to let me know that he wants my son to come, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's beautiful outside right now, actually. Um, I'm aiming, I asked my family when they think that he's going to come and pretty much everybody said basically the first week of May, which is in two days because it's April 29th if I'm not mistaken um now I am I am a little on edge as far as with everything going on like this whole social distancing distancing blah, blah, distancing and you know the crisis going on I, I am a little on edge because I just feel like Oh, you just don't know who got it and I don't want I just don't want my family to get affected by it. So I just I am a little on edge with that, like oh I just don't want nobody around. <laughs> um the good thing is I was nervous before because with this crisis going on I wasn't sure if I'd be able to have somebody in the delivery room because unfortunately some people had to deliver alone and I can't do that. I was going to do that. Miles was going to make it happen. Somebody was going to have to be there. Okay. Cause I was not doing it by myself at all. Like no, no, but luckily I can have one person and one person only. So that's good. So, um, uh, but yeah, I'm not scared. It's just, I guess because I have faith. I know God got me. He has me this. He had me this whole time, and He won't stop now. So, it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, but I just can't wait to have my son in my arms. Like I'm tired of waking up to an empty playpen, an empty little bed. I'm tired. Like, where's my little crying baby? I know it's gonna be so tiring, but it's gonna be so worth it. So yeah, I, that's pretty much it. I mean, I just, I don't really have to go into detail. I'm not scared, I'm not afraid. I'm a little nervous, I, just a tiny bit, because it's just like, I don't know what to expect. I'm curious on how I'm gonna feel when I'm actually in active labor and not preterm labor or anything. So, I don't know, but I will vlog. I will try my hardest to vlog that whole experience. But now we're gonna get into what's in my son's diaper bag so this is the bag I have I got it um off Amazon and if, if I remember I'll put it in the, the link down below 
So believe it or not, it looks really full, but I really don't have that much in here because the hospital is going to provide me with so much. So let's see. So in the front part, I have some blankets, some receiving blankets and some bibs, but I might switch the bibs out to actual breakfast cloths because I don't have I don't have any right now besides the receiving blankets. Um, I don't have anything in this section. Ooh, it's hot right here. Ooh, no, I'm hot. Um, okay, so I have, um, so I don't have mittens, so I have his little socks in here, and, uh, and I put it inside his hat because it's inside his hat because I don't want to lose them. And I have, um, a onesie for, uh, I don't know which outfit he's going to wear. I let my brother choose his outfit, y'all. If y'all know, if you ever watched my, um, what's it called? My, uh, gender reveal. Y'all would know my little, my, not my little brother. My 16 year old brother wasn't there. He wasn't able to witness it because he was at work. So I told him he has the opportunity to choose my son's going home outfit. So yes, I have some onesies in there. I might put some more, but I still, I'm still like, his bag is not final, but if it were to go down like right now, this will be working with. Cause he's gonna be swallowed up anyway. So yeah. And then I have my breast pump items, everything like uh, the whole kit. I have the bottle. I don't wanna take the big thing out because I don't feel like putting the whole thing back in there. But I have my whole breast pump in here. Everything it came with, all the pieces it came with because I want them to show me how to use it, you know? Because I am, I want to exclusively I can't talk this early in the morning. I want to exclusively breastfeed. So I have like the whole breast pump kit, which I'm not gonna take out because I don't want to take out this big old thing right now. And then I have nursing pads, um, nursing bras as well too. Uh, cream and um, I have some vitamin D for my son because you know when you breastfeed the only vitamin they don't get is vitamin D from your boobies. So that's what I have. And I have some nipple cream. Like I got a whole breast pump kit y'all because I'm so serious about this. I really want to breastfeed and I'm gonna make it work. I know it's gonna hurt for a little bit but I really, really want to breastfeed. So that's all I have in my son's bag. And if you wonder why it's so simple, it's because the hospital is going to provide me with everything, diapers, bottles, more, more swaddles. Like I already know how the hospital is, especially, and it's a new birthday center. So I know um, they're going to give me everything I need. So that's why his bag is so light. And then in my bag, you know, that's a little different. I have my eco gel and my um, soap, um, the torture things, of course. Now, the only thing is, it's been raining a lot lately and I don't know, like we have good days and then some rainy days. I don't know what day he's gonna decide to come. So I have, um, some outfits. I have some basketball shorts just in case it's really hot that day. I have a pair of yoga pants and I have a dress, like a sweatshirt, like short sleeve dress thing. Hold on, I'll show you. Um, it's like a, just a, just a like sweatshirt dress type of thing. Cause I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. And Either one, I think I'm gonna wear the yoga pants and my t-shirt that I have. I have a regular t-shirt. Um, I have another shirt too to wear while I'm in the hospital, like 
I have my nursing bras, which I got from Amazon. And I have like a, just a, obviously I'm gonna wear the nursing bra where I wear this shirt. But you know, like a shirt that has the sides open. I'm gonna most likely wear this after I give birth. Not going home, but after I give birth. So when I breastfeed the little bit that I can, it would be easier just to pull my, you know, pull my little um, boobies out and feed my baby. And then I have a um, notepad to take notes and keep up with everything because I know they're gonna give me a lot of information at the hospital. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Um, I just have clothes for going home. I will have my charger. Um, I want some headphones. I'm gonna put my bonnet in there. I have some shower shoes and all of that too that I'm gonna put there when the time actually comes. But yeah, so it's just a simple, what's in my bag? I'm not bringing the whole world because I'm probably only gonna be there for two days. So yeah, and plus I won't be able to leave and go out like that with this whole crisis going on. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, if you can't tell, I'm getting really sleepy. I woke up super early this morning and now I need a nap. <laughs> I'm getting exhausted. I feel so tired right now. Um, my eyes are super heavy. I don't even know if you can tell, but they are. So you know, that's pretty much it, you guys. Like I always say, follow all my social media at Beauty and Maj. If I don't have it on the screen somewhere, it will be in the description box down below. And your girl is still very much pregnant. Uh, um, this is what I'm looking like. I can't lift my shirt up right now because all I'm wearing is a big shirt. So this is what I'm looking like. 38 weeks and like two days. So the next two, hopefully, I'm going to do the baby mama dance for y'all, and I'm going to do a maternity shoot if I can for you guys. But after those two videos, hopefully the next video you guys see will be in the labor and delivery. But bye, y'all. I'm going to clean up, get some rest, and walk this baby out. So be good, y'all. See y'all. <laughs>